What is the difference between in, on, and at? Well, first, let's draw a box. Okay, so in would be here. We can say the ball is in the box. Whereas at, if it were at, the ball wouldn't be in the box. Well, here if we're talking about a box, really I would say by, it would be here, by, by the box. When we talk about buildings, we can say at, so that's next, but then it will become clearer. So for now, in, in the box, or at, or by the box. It doesn't have to be touching, really. It's just a bit similar to near. So at the box, close to, close to. And on, I think we know on, I, I hope we know on, on will be on, on the box, on. So we would have in the box, on the box, and at or by the box. Okay, let's get a bit deeper into this and talk about buildings. So if I draw, I'm gonna draw a cinema, okay? Here's a cinema, I'm gonna put cinema up the top there. Cinema, and there we go. It looks like a house, but imagine it's a cinema. There is the screen, okay, with the seats showing little people sitting there. And there is the ticket booth. This is going to get quite deep into this in, on, at grammar. So if I'm a little red man, there, some other dude is, some other dude is in the cinema hall. And that's, that's what it really means. If I say in the cinema, I'm in the cinema. Well, I could be here actually watching the film. Okay. I'm in the cinema. So, hey, you know, I'm texting, like, don't call me right now because I'm in the cinema. I'm watching a film. I'm really in. I'm doing the thing that the building is made for. I'm watching a film in the cinema. But equally, okay, if I say if I say in the cinema, I, I could be here too. Okay. I'm still in the cinema. Right? But this here, this this here is in. I'm well and truly in the cinema. This this here is in the cinema, but it could be at too. It could be at, I'm at the cinema, right? I'm, I'm waiting for you at the cinema. So I'm in the building, but I'm not, I'm not in doing the thing that that building was made for. Yeah. So equally, I could say I'm in the cinema hall, right? I'm in hall two for example, but I'm in the cinema, I'm, I'm in the cinema, I'm at the ticket booth, at the ticket booth, okay? So at two, it can be just, it can be outside. Because here I'm, I'm definitely not, I'm definitely not in the cinema, definitely not in the cinema, right? I'm at, I'm at the cinema. So hopefully you can see kind of the like the 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 delicate nature of this these prepositions the transition between the two in well and truly in but at I I can be near and be outside and then on <laughs> so I'm yeah I'm on the cinema right I'm on or this is floor number two right this is floor well, in England, this would be the ground floor, and this would be the first floor. So it'd be, well, I'm on the, because I'm, I'm on the platform, 
right? I'm on the first floor or I'm on the ground floor. As if we go into we go into hotels or apartment blocks. Well, I live on the 14th floor because we're talking about the floors, but I'm inside the building. I'm in the building, obviously. So hopefully you're, you're following me with that. Hopefully you're, you're coming with me and hopefully you've understood that. You can always watch it again, but let's go further. Okay. So I'm hearing you ask me about vehicles. Is that, okay, it's all well and good if we say, yeah, I'm in the museum or I'm in the uh, cinema or I'm in, in the hotel, but why do we say then, if, if it's in the box, why do I say I'm on the bus, right? I draw a London red bus, here we go. Have a nice double-decker one. All right, two floors, two floors to the bus. It's bus, okay? So here, yeah, I'm on the bus. And you would say, well, surely on would mean on the roof, on the roof of the bus. But no, we say on the bus. And so what I want you to understand here is that when, when we talk about large vehicles, and you have to use your own judgment really to feel what a large vehicle is, then we say on. So I'm going to give you a list of examples, okay? Like a boat, I will be on. Yeah, a, sh a cruise ship, I'm on it. A plane, okay, I'm on. I hope you can see that ink. I'll just quickly go over it with black so it's more visible. Boat, I'm on a boat. I'm on a ship. I'm on a plane. I'm on a ferry, yeah, I'm on a bus, a train. So it's really about vehicles where there is space to walk around. That's really important. I can walk on the boat. I can walk on the vehicle. I can get out of my seat and I can walk around, but I'm on the vehicle okay and so if we talk about small vehicles okay small vehicles like car this is when i'm gonna say i'm in so here's my car okay some windows there and i'm i'm in i'm in the car i'm in it there we go Small vehicles we use in. So I'm just going to give you a list like car, what, um, canoe. Yeah, I'm in a canoe. Yeah, I'm in a canoe. Is I, I can't move. I can't stand up. I can't walk. Right. I'm. I'm in a raft. I'm in a raft. It's a small thing. I can't really walk around there. I'm in a van. Yeah, it's not like I can walk around. I'm in the back of a van, but yeah, I can walk a little bit, but it's, I would still class it as a small vehicle. I'm, I'm in the van. So, you know, on the van would still be on top of the van, in the van. Uh, note that for something like a motorcycle, a motorbike, it's still on a motorbike and that's because it's not contained. It's the same as a surfboard on a surfboard on a skateboard. Okay, You're not contained. There's the board on a snowboard. You're you're on it. You're not contained. There's no there's no walls around you. You're not in a box. You're definitely on the platform. Like on the on the train platform. So that's it. That's it. So large vehicles we're saying on. Small vehicles we say in. Any boards, 
we say on. And with buildings, you've got in, and then you've got at, which is nearby, and then you've got on the roof. If you want to further, you know, if you want to deepen your understanding more, then I suggest watching the video again, just to take it all in. And otherwise, I suggest checking out one of my other videos or heading over to see my channel trailer and find out what Hedgehog English is all about.